Hey, if you've heard of Scrivener, but its complexity kind of intimidates you, then you're in luck. I'm going to be breaking down Scrivener into little digestible bites so you can maximize the software to write amazing stories. Hey friends, let's talk about Scrivener, specifically the snapshot section. And by talk, I mean I talk and you leave comments down below. Ask me questions or tell me about your favorite Scrivener features. So what are snapshots? To get to the snapshot area, it's over here in the inspector pane, and it's just this little camera. If you don't have the inspector pane, find this little blue circle with the eye in it and click on it and your pane will pop up. So snapshots are for multiple versions of the same document. Um, if you're going to be making major revisions and you're not sure if you're going to want to keep them, one way to do this is to make a copy and have you know seen one version one, seen one version two, or you can use the snapshots. The benefit for using the snapshots we will see in a second. First of all, we want to make a snapshot of our original document. And like all things in Scrivener, you just click that plus sign and it pops up and then you get the content of it down here. So let's make some changes. I am making changes. So I have made my changes over here. We've got our original snapshot up here and I have made my changes. So um, I'm going to make another snapshot of this just to have it. So now I've got these two snapshots. And if we select each one, we can see what it is down here. So here's my original and here's my new one. To keep track, I recommend naming them whatever version they are, just to keep it clear. This is the original and I have the changes displayed over here. Now I'm going to hit compare. And as we see, it shows me what I did down here. The compare tool is comparing whatever you have selected right here with whatever is currently active over here. Um, it's not comparing anything in here to one another. It's just whatever you select here, comparing it to what's here, and it will show you down here what you have done. And then revert back to original. Okay. Um, if you want to change what is compared, just click on this little cogwheel and you can change how deep the compare goes. <laughs> so with all of them checked, if I hit compare, we see all of these changes. So if we click off the paragraph, see kind of what happened? It was right in here. There. Just change like that. <laughs> if we, oops, if we click off clause that happens and then if we click off word that happens. I recommend just having all of it in there so you can see all of what you've changed. I created several new versions and basically just this is version 3, this is version 2 <laughs> going around. So, so I've gotten to new version 3 and let's say you know what I really liked version 1. So I'm going to select version 1 and I'm going to hit roll back and I'm gonna get this little message that says are you sure because it, it is if you roll back you lose whatever changes you have made since then so it'll say are you sure because it's gonna be lost take a snapshot and I mean I already took a snapshot of this newest one so I might say no but if you haven't then yeah just in case you should hit yes so I'm gonna say no and it rolls back to version one like I said this is handy for when you're doing revisions if you're doing overhauls what if you are changing the, the POV from first to third or changing the tense from past to present or something like that. You can do it all, save your original as a snapshot, then, um, then do it all. And if you hate the way it turned out, you can just revert back. No harm, no foul. Bada bing, bada boom. When, before I found out about the snapshot feature, I used to do this over here and I would make, you know, scene one, version one, scene one, version two and kind of line them up side by side in the split screen and compare them that way. But I think this one is easier because we can compare like this and it'll show us what we've done. And you can even you know, expand this out so that it shows up bigger if you've got more text. So yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. 
I hope you learned something new about the snapshot feature. If you like this video, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Wash your hands. Black Lives Matter. Have a nice day.